Welcome to Global Banking and Finance Review Awards. Global Banking and Finance Review is a leading brand name in the world of finance and banking. Their awards were created to recognize companies of all sizes that are prominent in particular areas of expertise and excellence within the global financial community. This time, we're pleased to offer awards to PT Sukhorovest Asset Management, based in Jakarta, including Asset Management Company of the Year, Southeast Asia 2023, Asset Management Company of the Year, Indonesia 2023, 25 Years of Excellence Asset Management Indonesia 2023 and Asset Management Company The Next 100 Global Awards 2022. Sukor Invest's mission is to become the biggest retail asset management operation in Indonesia. Asset under management growth has more than quadrupled for the last four years and Sukuravest always ensures delivery of the best investment solutions that fit the needs and objectives of customers. Global Banking and Finance was glad to invite President and Director of PT Sukuravest Asset Management, Jemmy Paul Wawointana, to London to receive the awards, and later I was able to speak to him about his company's successful growth over the past 25 years. Well, Jemmy, welcome to London, and first of all, can I say congratulations on your award-winning success? Thank you so much. I'll be honored to be invited here and receive the award again. Excellent. Well, let's look at some of the achievements and work you've been doing in recent times. Uh, you've been established for 25 years as an yes. organization. What would you say are the key contributors to the success that, that have actually brought you to this today? Yeah, uh, we've, uh, we've been established for 25 years, but I think uh, the last five to to eight years is actually uh, the one that has make us like today. Um, we've been focusing our uh, segment into more retail. So before we are more into uh, institutional clients, but uh, since the campaign of uh, uh, marketing, uh, we go into uh, uh, more retail. We have a bank distribution and non-bank distribution channel, which has uh, led into uh, our asset management growing up, uh, I think more for the last five years we're growing like almost tenfold, and that's uh, that's the key to our growth lately. And we believe uh, since our focus is to uh, cater the the needs of the retail, the needs of the individual uh, investors, then that's the the key of our uh, recent performance. Well, that's an outline of some of the achievements. Is there anything you are particularly proud of that you've succeeded in doing in recent times? Yeah, uh, uh, for now, I think we are one of the largest uh, uh, market share in terms of uh, people who invested in mutual fund in Indonesia. In a number of customers, we have like 800,000. And our market share, I think around 8% of total people invested in mutual fund in Indonesia. Uh, we are also... Uh, if not the largest, we are one of the largest uh, market share in uh, fintech and also uh, the asset management who sell their products in um, securities companies. So we believe uh, with our focus into the more retail, uh, then we can uh, have people uh, to establish their dream uh, and uh, to preserve their wealth because this is our vision and mission is to uh, make people who knows the capital market invested in and they can preserve their wealth across generations. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously successful then, uh, but would you say that you have a particular type of investment policy and how does that differ from other firms? Yes, our investment philosophy is actually, yeah, we believe uh, that to create alpha, we also have to see the fundamental and also the market and business cycle. That's our uh, investment philosophy, which turned out to be very su successful for the last six, seven years. Almost every asset class, we've been doing very well. We're beating the benchmark. And also, we grew a lot, like uh, I said before, that uh, our asset under investment now, 38 trillion or around um, $2 billion. And I think uh, we are now one of the largest, if not the largest asset management in Indonesia. Currently, we are uh, ranked third uh, in terms of asset under investment. But also, we have uh, uh, the largest base investor uh, retail in Indonesia. 
Excellent. Now, obviously, in this modern day world that we live in, uh, technology plays an important part in any form of banking and investment opportunities. How much is that important to you using digital services? And does it uh, actually improve and help the, the, the bottom line for the organisation as well? Yes, uh, we are f uh, actually, uh, even during COVID, uh, we, are, uh, we believe that we are blessed to grow uh, a lot because of uh, people have time to to search about investment and learning about investment. Uh, so during COVID, I think in the last two or three years, when our industry asset and investment is stagnated, we are growing uh, very fast. And there are, uh, I think, 80% of total our clients, actually the, 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 the new clients who are the first timer invested in mutual funds. So uh, that thanks to the uh, digital, uh, uh, media and the campaign that we have uh, through social media. So we think uh, the, the media digital campaign is actually doing pretty well uh, 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 for our uh, performance uh, for the last two or three years. And that's just one example. Uh, are there any particular funds that you have that you are proud of the way that they've performed? Yeah, we have our, our flexi fund, uh, our Sukarno's equity fund. Uh, actually, we've been doing very well for the last six years. We keep beating the benchmark. Uh, the return is uh, pretty high and we are winning uh, uh, for the best equity for the 10 years and five years in, uh, for the last five and 10 years since it, it was established. So we are pretty uh, uh, proud of the fund. But also we have uh, uh, some fund like our balance fund, which is uh, a philanthropy fund. We also contribute uh, some of the money that we have from the management fee. We also uh, uh, give it to some foundation who is uh, helping education in Indonesia. That's why we are very proud of those funds. And looking uh, to those funds that you've been talking about, is there any one that uh, you will be launching this year that you can tell us about something new? Yeah, uh, we are, already have uh, one ESG equity fund, but we are launching a uh, Sharia ESG equity fund, which is now being like a trend and uh, modern investment uh, uh, right now. So we believe uh, in the capital market, uh, uh, more people uh, tend to invest in ESG. So uh, we are broadening our uh, fund, not just an ESG equity fund, but also a Sharia equity fund, Sharia ESG equity fund, which we're going to launch this year and. We are going to expand our product. Uh, this year, we're going to launch our uh, Sharia Global Fund, Sharia Global Equity Fund, which we think uh, should cater investment uh, uh, abroad uh, from Indonesian uh, people to invest uh, um, outside of Indonesia. Okay, that's exciting. Something to look forward to there. Uh, we've had difficult times financially in every way, what with COVID, uh, war in, in some parts of the world. How do you uh, get your selling agents to deal with that and actually in, uh, and advise your would-be investors, your clients, on how they can actually be successful going forward? We've been uh, coordinating to help a lot of events. For example, during COVID, we, we might have 365 events, like one event a day. Of course, uh, uh, we'll do it all in social media, Zoom and things like that. So uh, we think with that uh, campaign, uh, we want to educate people about uh, capital market. Uh, we're doing very well and we still keep doing it for the next years to come. As we see that our, uh, like 80% of our investors is actually the millennials, which we think uh, could help us uh, to grow even more uh, and uh, help our brand in the next five to ten years and of course we will keep going on uh, uh, campaigning in the social medias with all the, the uh, distribution channel like the fintech for example. And looking to getting young people on board uh, to invest obviously which is something you will encourage I'm sure what kind of investment strategy do you advise them to adopt uh, once they, they climb on board and are looking at the possibility of investing? Okay, I think one of our uh, s uh, success is actually how we manage to uh, make uh, the young people or our investor uh, overall is to understand about the profile of themselves. Because in Indonesia, the financial literacy is actually quite low that some people do not know 
how to invest. For example, they don't know which one for the uh, more longer term or which one for the short term. So uh, we are educating people to invest uh, 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 during their profile, the age, or of, of, of course, their type of investing. Are they aggressive or conservative? Things like that. So uh, I think uh, that's how we manage to educate them. And uh, that's why we are very successful too, uh, for uh, to getting a lot of investor to invest in our fund. And that's what it's all about, isn't it? Customer services as well. Yes. How does the, the CSR operation and option fit in uh, to your projects and indeed your policies as a business model? So we are dedicate a lot of people, uh, a lot of uh, resources, energy uh, into uh, uh, customer service. Uh, we, even though we don't sell directly to our clients, only to the channel distribution, but uh, our, through our med social media, to our uh, 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 direct uh, uh, phone, we always uh, try to emphasize the, the importance of uh, how we manage to, to answer all the questions, how to manage to, uh, to explain to the investor about the product itself and the, the risk uh, if they are investing in one of our products. So yes, uh, the customer service is uh, one of the uh, strength that we have so that we can have a very uh, good base on clients. Obviously, we have things to look forward to in the future. Is sure. there anything that you can tell us about uh, what we can expect to see from your organization going forward? Yeah, uh, we are now uh, focusing more into the more sustainable uh, development goals, which is uh, we are more concerned about ESG, not just uh, launching ESG funds, but also we are trying to uh, make uh, our company is uh, 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 more concerned about ESG and some of our uh, initiative is also based on ESG. We also think that uh, education in Indonesia, especially for the capital market, is one thing that uh, we have to be uh, more concerned because uh, even though we are growing very big uh, and in the last two or three years uh, throughout COVID we had uh, a lot of uh, new investors the invest I think growing like 10 times during COVID but I think we still have a lot of opportunity because only two or three percent of Indonesian people who owns mutual fund compared to other countries so we have uh, very much potential and we want to gather that uh, by doing a lot of marketing campaign social campaign uh, uh, initiative uh, and also uh, we want uh, people to understand about their profile their risk and also educate about the uh, product that we can, that we can uh, give to them to help them create their wealth. So it's all to come, uh, all looking interesting for the future. Yes. In the meantime, congratulations on the awards from Global Banking and Finance. Thank you, and thank you for talking to us today. Thank you, thank you so much.